On their fifth campus tour in just three days, Frank DeFiori and his daughter Caitlin are feeling a bit overwhelmed. It's a lot of you know, pressure, and it's like, you're going to live there for four years, so it better be the right fit. I would say we'll probably hit at least 20. 20 schools? With more kids applying to more colleges than ever, weeding out the target schools from the safeties has become a daunting task. There's so much to look at in all these schools. Campus visits are often cited as the best way to match student to school, but colleges are well aware that prospective applicants also study the annual U.S. News and World Report rankings, hoping their choice is at the top of the list. Well, you want the best for your child, right? And you want them to go to the um, highest ranked school that they possibly can, typically. But that yardstick frustrates many college presidents. They say rankings are just status symbols, especially since the magazine asks them to evaluate other schools, the biggest factor in the U.S. News equation. That's the problem with it. It's like a beauty contest. And no person could know 260 schools well enough to rank them. Gettysburg but College President Kate Will chairs the Annapolis Group, an organization of 125 liberal arts colleges, big name institutions, along with a number of smaller schools. This week, a majority signed on to an effort to stop contributing to the U.S. News survey. The president of St. John's College called it evil. It's all about business for them, and it isn't all about students and education. Most of what goes into the ranking is on the record anyway. Things like SAT scores, faculty student ratios, graduation rates. Some schools may not want to play along, but the magazine intends to keep on rating them. We're going to do the rankings with or without the cooperation of the schools. Uh, the rankings are not designed to make the schools happy. They're designed for parents and students. The college group plans to put out its own review, one it says will help students better rank schools for themselves. Joey Chen, CBS News. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania.